Today we're going to be talking all about the beautiful element of magnesium, specifically which type of magnesium you should take because there are a lot of choices out there. We're going to hit them all today, so without further ado, let's go. Magnesium is an essential vitamin that is involved in over 300 different biochemical processes all throughout the body. It's really important for maintaining blood pressure, keeping our hearts pumping, as well as allowing our nervous system to work properly. According to the National Institute of Health, also known as the NIH, nearly 70% of the entire United States population is deficient in magnesium. The recommended dietary allowance, also known as RDA, for all adults over the age of 18 is about 400 milligrams for men and about 310 milligrams for women. Now that's actually quite a bit of magnesium and it's really hard to get all of this recommended magnesium through our diet alone. It's also important to understand that there are medical conditions out there where getting extra magnesium even above that RDA level would be very beneficial. If you're wanting to supplement your magnesium intake for whatever reason, it's really important to understand the type of magnesium that you're getting because not all magnesium supplements are created equally and that's sort of the point of this video. In terms of magnesium, there's certain formulations that are more bioavailable than others. Bioavailability is just a fancy term that essentially means how ready or how accessible the element is for your body to use. A quick example of bioavailability, if you were to take 100 milligrams of a magnesium supplement and it was 50% bioavailable, this means that only 50 milligrams of the entire 100 milligram tablet would actually make its way into your body and allow your body to use. Therefore, it's really important to get the right kind of magnesium for your specific needs because not all magnesium supplements are created equally. It's also really important to look at the elemental value of magnesium you're getting, not the total amount. Some brands will say you're getting over a thousand milligrams of magnesium per pill, when in reality, the value of the elemental magnesium that you're getting is only about 50 milligrams. Moving on to the list of magnesium formulations and starting with the first one, probably the most well-studied, magnesium citrate. This form of magnesium is bound to citric acid, which makes it very bioavailable. It is frequently used as a laxative and can help relieve constipation if that's something you're struggling with. However, if your plan is to take magnesium supplements at higher doses, I generally wouldn't recommend this one as it most likely will give you some sort of upset stomach. <coughs> Diarrhea. Mm. I do think this would be a good option for you if you're unable to take pills because it does come in a liquid form that can be mixed into your favorite drinks. The second one on our list is magnesium oxide. This form of magnesium is probably the cheapest and most widely available. However, this type of magnesium is also commonly used as a laxative. It's not quite as bioavailable as magnesium citrate, but it is a little bit less likely to cause diarrhea. Honestly, if you're planning on taking a lot of magnesium, I would also steer clear of this option. The next one on our list is magnesium glycinate. Magnesium here here is bound to glycine, which is an amino acid, and together this combination really helps with overall cognitive function as well as decreasing inflammation. People usually say that taking this type of magnesium promotes relaxation. It is one of the most effective formulations at boosting magnesium levels very quickly and is generally really well tolerated without causing a lot of stomach issues. The next one on our list is magnesium L3 and 8. This is one of the only magnesium formulations that has been scientifically proven to cross the blood-brain barrier and directly raise the magnesium levels within your brain. This is a really good option for people who struggle with a lot of brain fog and can help raise overall cognitive levels as well as an increased sense of awareness. The next one we have is magnesium malate. Mm, I love alliteration. This is magnesium bound to malic acid, which also helps to raise its overall bioavailability. This type of magnesium has been studied for those who suffer from fibro myalgia, as well as those who suffer from chronic fatigue syndrome. Based on the literature, this type of magnesium does give you a bit of a jolt of energy. Woo! This can be beneficial for those who do suffer from fibromyalgia, 
or for those who are looking for a little bit of increased energy. The next one we have is magnesium malate. This is magnesium bound to the amino acid taurine. It has been shown to reduce overall cardiovascular events such as heart attacks and to provide more stable blood sugars. If you have any type of cardiovascular disease or you struggle with maintaining consistent blood sugars, this type of magnesium would probably be best for you. And the last two on our list are magnesium chloride and magnesium sulfate. These are usually gels that can be applied topically on different areas of the body. And it's a great way to get a little bit of extra magnesium without having to take any pills. However, there is still a lot of debate on how much magnesium you're actually receiving. Based on the literature, it doesn't seem like a lot, but this is probably best used in conjunction if you're taking other types of magnesium supplements supplements or if you don't need that much more magnesium to meet your daily goals. Plus, you can always apply this to muscular areas that are a bit sore, and this can provide a little bit of pain relief. So at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter which type of magnesium you take as long as you're getting enough to meet your daily needs. I've sort of laid out all the options for us here, and based on everything else that you have going on in your life, Pick a magnesium, try it out, and see how you feel. Also, you can mix and match different types of magnesium based on the needs you have. If you wanna take a little bit of l 3 8 in order to help with some brain fog, as well as taking some malate if you also struggle with a lot of fatigue. As always, guys, if you're concerned about having low levels of magnesium, please consult your local healthcare provider. That's all for this one, and as always, everyone, I will see you all on the next one.